Hi guys, I'm Z and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to take part of an image from one photo and merge it with another photo using GIMP. This is really easy to do, but a really good skill to have. So what we need to do first is click File, Open, find the background image. And once that's open, then we can click the file itself and open. Convert, and then the background image is in. Then we can open the second image as a new layer. Find the image, click open, convert. And then we have two pictures, one on top of the other. We then need to add an alpha channel and we can do that like this. Right click on that layer, click add as alpha channel. And that then allows us to alter the image. We can turn off the visibility of the image beneath and then we can start to remove the background from this picture. There's three ways we can do that and I'm going to show you all three. So let's just get it centered so you can see. So the first one is by using the eraser tool. Click on a razor and then alter the size of the brush. Let's take it up to around 550, 564, that'll do. And once you have that, then you can erase any part of the picture or image. Obviously, you can change the size of it um, to get into to tighter areas. Let's just use this to take off the outside of the uh, of the image. You must be careful obviously that you don't remove any bit uh, that you want to retain. So that's the first method. The second method uh, allows us to be a little bit more detailed. Just remove this. So we can select the free select tool and this allows us to pick points and you could pick points around the jet if you liked uh, which sometimes takes some time but just to demonstrate I've picked a point four points there and we can go edit clear and that removes everything inside of those points the third method is the fuzzy select tool so fuzzy select tool, any background that is a, a similar colour, if you click on that, it will remove all of that background, which is that colour. And then go edit clear. Obviously, some of the colour is, uh, is not quite the same, so you have to keep clicking to ensure that you remove all of the, uh, the background. Just by fuzzy select again. Let's pick that area as well. Yeah. And then go edit clear. So I haven't quite got that bit. So you select edit clear. Right. That looks pretty good. Zoom in a little bit, so just to make sure that we've got it all. That looks, that looks good. It's a tiny little bit at the back end of the plane there. Let's just try and get that. Edit, clear. And then once you you want to remove your selection, you then go select none. So let's now turn the layer beneath on, clicking the eye icon 
and now we have two layers turned on together. Let's have one more look around the merged layers to see if there's any uh, anything that's not quite right. I know that looks great. Just pan around a little bit. Oh, that's good. And using the uh, two crossed arrows, you can reposition the top image to where you would like it. And then we can rescale it using the scale tool, scale select tool. Click on the image, click on the right hand corner, press shift and command. And that uniformly scales down the image. And enter. Just might move it a little bit further. Move it over a little bit, that's great. And that's our final image. There's only one more thing left to do. And that's to merge both layers. So we'll right click on the top layer. And press merge down. Now both images are now on one layer. You can zoom out on a Mac by pressing the minus key. Or zoom in by pressing shift and plus. We can now export this as a JPEG by going file, export as, JPEG, type the file name, if it doesn't already say JPEG, you just put dot .jpg, export, export again. Let's have a look at our final image. Just shut GIMP. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please like and subscribe for more videos to come.